you say it, but I think it's Brian. How do you say this name now? Hi. Hello. So when I first met you on TikTok, you had a different name. It was something born. So now we got a different name. How do I pronounce this? Rayon. Yeah, the name's Rayon. I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say, actually. I wasn't going to say anything. I was waiting to figure it out. Okay, so Rayon, Mr. Rayon, uh, why did you why, why did you name your new performer name um, as on the platform as Mr. Rayon? Rayon, Rayon. Mr. Rayon is um that name since middle school. That's when I started making music. Um, I I wanted to change my name to Born um, Born Music. Um, but I, I carry, I carry a little bit of weight with more with Rayon. So I, I figured I'd go with Rayon and I, I think okay. that's a little more catchy. Interesting. So, um, okay. And what age did you start realizing you had a talent? Cause you just said that your nickname in middle school. So when did you actually start coming out and performing and having this talent? At what age did you start? Uh, I want to say I started at 14 years old, um, that like 13, 14. I, I really had a passion to sing at the time. I really couldn't really sing. I, I trained myself to sing. I used to take piano lessons when I was a kid and I, I realized I was, I was pretty good at it. Um, I listened to a lot of R and B growing up and I wanted to be an R and B artist, just, just like, you know, some of my idols. Um, I, I started taking it seriously when I just entered high school. I I started producing my own music. I bought a little laptop. Um, I bought a keyboard, little uh, little uh, computer uh, monitors, and just started making beats. And then I went to as I as I as I got older, I trained myself to sing. Um, and I I I started. I. Um, I produced my own, my first album. It's called, it was called mm -hmm. First Movement. It was an RB album. Um, and from there on, I, I started producing for other people. Okay. From there, I started taking it like really seriously. I, I produced for probably for like 10, like between eight and 10 other people. And I, I've never really like, I, I didn't know how to promote and, and, and I didn't know the business aspect of the music industry. So I kind of just did it as you know locally, and I, I I worked with what I had at the time. When you were younger, you said you started fourteen. We all are asked when we were young in elementary school. Actually, I think it starts like when you're probably like three, four. Uh, what you want to be when you grow up, and basically my whole um, entire show is about growing up and becoming who you are. Uh, when you were younger, what did you actually want to be? I, at first, I, I was interested in becoming a businessman. Uh, and there, there was a movie um, with, uh, not the name of the movie, uh, The Family Man. Have you heard of that? Yeah. With um, Nick. Uh, was, yeah, I, he was a businessman. And then I was like, I want to be just like that. You know, I had the house and the car and all that. But I, I really had the to, to want to make music instead. I, I, like I, at the time, I really wanted to sing, and, and I, I was inspired by this movie called um, Sister Act 2. You ever heard of Everybody it? Everybody has. Um, I Whoopi hate Goldberg. No. Yes. I mean, how many times have I played that yeah. over and over? I don't even know. Like, plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, there was a lot. There was a quote that, that – um, Whoopi Goldberg said in the movie, um, she said, "If you were, if you get up every morning and you and you uh, you think can't think about nothing else but singing, you're supposed to be a singer." And and I took that to heart, and and I just I ran with it, and um, I, every day I practiced. I, I looked up on YouTube how to how to train train myself how to sing, how to properly breathe, and and all the dynamics to to singing, and and not only that, to making music, I um. I have a little bit of background in music, in music um, performances and, 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 and theory. 
I used to I used to perform um, on the piano as a kid in front of people, and in high school, I did a I did a fast show. I, I I was I was I was rapping with one of my friends. We I um I took a beat, remade it, and wrote some of the um some wrote the uh some of the lyrics. And my my friend he also he also um wrote his part and we killed it. Everybody was talking about it the next day. It was and it was, how old were you uh, at that time when that happened? Because I got uh okay, okay. So seventeen you're or eighteen. Older. Okay, true. Interesting. That's cool. So it's kind of been in your path pretty much is what the story I'm kind of, kind of feeling like it's coming from. Uh, so question would be is who would be your, as an artist, influencer in your life? Who's, who's the one that you uh, find fond of? Uh, I, I grew up listening to 112 a lot. And there's a there's a member there's a member in there. His name's Deron Jones. He, I was influenced him by him uh, a lot. Like he's he produced most of his, their songs, and he was he was he's for my opinion he's the best singer in, in the group. But um, yeah, his name's Deron Jones. One twelve. Oh, that, that, that's to my check group them right out there. Cause I've never heard of one twelve. I don't think I have. I'm not really good with names, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. So I'm gonna have to YouTube them. Um, where do you find your inspiration every day? Uh, I, I, I find, I, I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to God. You know, he's, he's, he gives me, you know, the power and, and the desire to do the things that I do. And from, and just, just waking up and, and, and listening to music. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from music. Like, oh, here's another day. Uh, let's. Let's let's put on some music and see what we can see you know where it goes from there. Um, I put on my Apple I, Apple Music and just shuffle through different songs. Like we're, some days I'll be feeling rap, some days I'll be feeling R and B. Um, but we're just listening to other artists. That's that's where I get a lot sure. of my inspiration. Do you from. ever like listen to yourself? All the time. I put on my own. I put on my own music all the time, and I, 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 I try to analyze okay. and see where I could do better but in my ears I, I think I think it's all there it's, I, I have room room for improvement for my singing I believe but as far as producing and, and the whole package I, I think I'm ready you know to, to definitely, the industry definitely. Uh, describe how important art is to our society could you describe how important art is in our society? Why we should keep it up? Why it should keep going? What does it make important of our our society and life? It's important to be creative because it it there's, it makes you feel free to express yourself. It makes you feel free in general, and it, it it's the driving motivation of of this nation and and not even the nation, the whole world, um, to want to step up tradition. The mechanics of life, and I believe in general, it's just the heartbeat of everything. Art and, and music, and and being creative. That that's what drives us to want to do things and 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 want to and want to mm -hmm. live. Definitely, you definitely. Know? Uh, what does your creative process look like when you are creating? How does your station? Is it messy? Is it organized? Uh, do you have pictures up? Like, give us a a view of how your brain works. I'm all over the place. I I I I believe that that I got to mean to brag or boast or anything, but a lot of geniuses they they're not really organized because mm -hmm. there's a lot going on up there. I mean, if you're if you're very smart and organized and you, and you can pull it off, then then bravo. I mean, but there's just there's just a lot of things floating up in there, you know, a lot of ideas and um and and it's just you're worried more about the creation and and the process r rather than being neat and and you know being or um let's just say for an artist wants to write something like oh they'll, they'll probably write on paper and they're more organized and they'll be like oh probably throw that away come back to it later and they'll have they'll just have a big mess you know like and then in the final right. project that comes i know up, Chris. definitely i can see that i can see that in uh a lot of like um, creative people, I feel, 
are that way. Uh, so I definitely could see what you're saying. Um, how would you describe your music? Um, is it rap? Is it R&B? Tell the people who don't know your music why they should come to your page and listen to it. I was told that my music is, it sounds like a lot of the 90s music, a lot, a lot where the golden era was. And I want to stick to that sound. Um, I... I, I, I'm an R&B artist, and I do hip-hop and rap for fun, but I'd rather be recognized as a singer, as, R, as a, a true R&B singer. Um, I like a lot of music today, a lot of R&B songs today, but we've glided from Usher, from Mario, um, from from 112, and we, we've, we've strayed from that. And I know that the business is all about selling and 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 and, and, and appealing to what the, the audience wants. But I believe in ingenuity and um, being genuine and and just and being creative in your own way and not not following the crowd. I mean, you, you, every artist is entitled to their perspective. But for me, I I want to I want to bring R and B alive again, and I want to I want people to resonate and and be inspired with the music that I make. Um, I like to I like to use different sounds. I like to I like to put in a lot of synthesizers and then go back to go back to like the guitar. The guitar sound is one of my favorites. Um, organic sounds, uh, synth electric sounds, a anything. I, I I'm inspired by a lot. Uh, a lot of different You're sounds. You're right. We have it has straight away like it's it's more of the other type of music that's coming out now. You're right. It's more popular. I, I mean, I definitely agree with everything you're saying. So, I mean, yeah, keep going the route you're going. And I definitely believe more people out there who are um, confused of which way they should go, follow follow your heart. Because I think that that's what ultimately that's what people want is the the, the people who are really following their, their, their hearts. Um, if you could open for anybody... Who would you want to open for on stage? I would love to open up for uh, some of the older artists like Kelly Price, um, uh, 112. Um, I would love to open up for and, and for for new artists. Uh, I would have to say. Um, Maybe like three songs, um, and for, for for on the rap perspective, uh, like maybe Lupe Fiasco, um, somewhere that 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 I can relate to. Like I, I could say Future or or Drake, but they're doing their own thing, and the message that I want to yeah. carry is a little bit different. Um, I want to use it to inspire. Like a I, they grew up they grew up on the streets, and you know they're they're they. Their, a lot of their messages are street related. Um, I grew up sheltered, and um, I, I don't know a lot of that aspect of of the street. And um, like a, I, I like I said, I was sheltered, and I, I don't know how to, what survival really is. And they had to do what they had to do at the time. Um, I had choices, so I mean, I I, I choose I choose to promote love. Uh, relationships, harmony. Um, a lot of a lot of the people, a lot of the rappers nowadays, they um, they they preach pain from struggle, um, and and the message is entirely different. I respect it, and I like some of their music. Um, I'm inspired. My one of my favorite artists is Future. Future, he has a, his art is wonderful. Um, but my message, uh. I like to keep it a little bit more on the old school of the original side. Um, you know, like, uh, pro um, also, also struggles of love and the struggles in the, um, I like to touch the areas and that is, and, and <clears throat> okay. So because my show is, uh, for people out there who are trying to become who they want to be, uh, younger kids, um, I have kids, if you can hear in the background, I always have kids. Um, it's for them, you know, because I, 
happen. We don't know when we're going to die, but ultimately what we put out on uh, content, on private videos, it's all through memories. It's all for that. And I'm creating this documentation uh, course for my kids so they can see who they want to be. What would you say for the moment that you're at now and everything that you've done, you looked at YouTube and everything, if you had a choice to go back to school, what would you decide to add addition to your career with what you're doing? Uh, I would do, I would probably do business. True. Um, you know, business industry, how to, how to guys, um, how to work with, you know, the uh, all around the business aspect. Cause I know nothing about business. Um, I, I would probably need a, a team and a manager to help me, you know, if we were to really step out into the music industry as a major artist, I, I, I don't need all that. I mean, I mean, I could start off with that, but the, the platform I have now, it carries a lot of weight and, and you could use that. You know, a lot of independent artists, they don't usually have a whole team behind them, like in the old days. Um, but if I were to step out in the industry, I would that, definitely okay, need help. Cool, cool. And have you ever taught anybody how to play an instrument? Piano, guitar, anything? Uh, I Here and there, I, I've taught um, a couple lessons to one of my friends um, to make beats and stuff. Um, I wanted to teach, I wanted to teach a few people on the time um, to play the piano. I, uh, I, my nephew, sometimes he comes up, play on the piano, you know, I try to teach him, but he's kind of bang on it. Sure, sure, like that's that. cool. Um, have you started or thought about creating any type of merch? Like shirts, merch, uh, uh, define merch. Be, I don't know, that, Usually, right now, I'm finding a lot of people creating merch, uh, so I like to ask because it would be um, an opportunity to tell people if you do have it, if you've thought about it, you know, what, what kind of, you know, when do you feel like your goals are? Like, this is all about growing up, so it doesn't mean that you're ready today. It could be like in um, 2025, you're deciding you're coming up with a whole bunch of merch. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever your goals are, it's okay. I don't know, because I'm meeting you. I met you on TikTok. Um, but merch is something that I'm finding a lot. And my goals um, are, as I am creating this, I like to give tips and ideas. And I learned a lot. You're learning a lot. We all are. Um, and merch is just something, like, it's just a thing now, I feel like. So, I mean... It's just a thought. Do you have it yet, or are you gonna get it soon? I say I, I would say uh, in the future. Right now, I want to just uh, focus on my fan base and focus on content. And then once I get recognized a little bit, then I may step out with a clothing line or um, jewelry or whatever it is. Uh, and then and then uh, you know, once 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 people once I get, once people you know recognize who I am and 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 resonate with my music, I think that'll probably it'll probably uh, take so off. So, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear, um, my biggest fear is wasting my talent and 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 and, and just throwing it away. Um, these these past ten years have been rocky for me. I, I I spent a lot of, I spent a lot of money on 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 foolish things. I could have invested that money. Um, I I um, there's just so many opportunities I could have taken, but I I didn't take because I wanted to live in the moment and I shouldn't. Have. Um, so anyone watching this, make sure say you save money, invest correctly, take the right steps towards your goal. Don't waste time. Time is precious and it's always against us. Um, don't waste your talent. Your, the world needs your art. Um, the world needs your talent, and 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 it, it's exactly. all going to be worth yeah. it in the end. Um, it's crazy because I was going to ask you to motivate and give us some motivation for our viewers and for the for everybody, but that it because it really is important to to um, not just live in the moment 
um, sometimes we think like, you know, like, we just don't think of the future of like, I'm actually going to live till later on. So you're living for right now. Uh, so it really is important to save your money, invest it, um, invest in yourself is the most important thing. Um, so I love exactly what you said for, for everybody out there. Um, and I really thank you for joining in. I know I met you on TikTok, um, I think a month ago, right? And it was a totally different account I had. Uh, and you were nice enough to join my live, tell me who you are. Um, I did post that up on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be posting this up on YouTube. And cool feature now on YouTube is, do you have a YouTube account? Okay, good. Um, I do. I do need your YouTube so I can subscribe to you because I'm not sure if you ever sent it to me. Um, I talk to a lot of people. Um, and I'll go and give you love and support and engagement. Engagement means, just in case you don't know, when you go and like, when you go and comment nicely, when you go and share if you want. Share, to me, is just that extra step because there are promoters out there. So it kind of takes away from them. But it's free to like. It's free to comment something nice. And if you like it, subscribe because it doesn't cost anything. So I'm going to make sure I subscribe to you. Mm. When I do post up the is I can see now on YouTube. Uh, so hopefully, you know, the people come and check out your channel because I did this interview because I heard his music. I was scrolling on you on TikTok like this. Um, and I heard the music. I went back and I was like, let me see what this is about. And then after a couple seconds, I went ahead and went into the live. And I'm just sitting here listening to you. I don't know what you were doing. I can't remember. But you were on the computer doing your music stuff. And I was like, wow, he has really good music. So definitely thank you for your time. Um, and I'll be playing this back on YouTube. Um, would you like to say anything inspiring? Uh, to anyone listening, like I said before, uh, follow your dreams, uh, follow your passion. Um, don't settle for less. Um, I, I know that sometimes it takes it takes a lot of work, takes it takes a lot of grind. Um, sometimes you have to work a nine to five um, to support your your dreams. But um, just step out in faith, uh, take that leap of faith, and and you never know where you're, you're gonna go. The, the most you could do is just fail, and and if you feel right back on the same spot you started. Um, so the best thing I can say is, is just is keep going. Don't give up. Whatever you're into, whatever you want to do in life, pursue it with with a with a passion and and, and stop. Because one day somebody's gonna it, it, they're gonna they're gonna re it's gonna resonate with people. Um, even if it's just a few people, you made an impact on somebody in this world. So don't give up. Just keep pushing, and you, and you, you'll get. There. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, I'm gonna let this live go. So thank you for the guys who are out there watching, make sure you go and give him a follow. And I'll be playing this back on YouTube.